meditation is really, it begins with that pause, the pause between two thoughts, the pause between two emotions, the pause between two events, the ups and the downs of life. And I'd like to begin now to teach you a little bit about the uh, actual technique of meditation. It's time we got to work. What you need to do if you want to really enter that pause is learn to keep your body completely still and then try to make your mind still also. Now there are certain things that can help you in this. One thing, of course, is deep breathing. Because when your body needs to be oxygenated, when it's full of carbon dioxide, you have been getting enough fresh air, then the mind becomes dull. Meditation is not going to sleep. Meditation is not dullness. It's not apathy. It's a moment when your mind is very fresh, very clear, very concentrated. And so the first thing you need to do is breathe a little bit. Now I'd suggest that you begin by breathing, inhaling, slowly, hold the breath slowly, exhale slowly. And in this particular exercise, we won't hold the breath out, but we'll inhale, counting to 12 mentally, hold 12 mentally, exhale, counting 12 mentally, like this. Hold. Exhale. And with that rhythm, do that two or three times. Now, because time is somewhat short, we won't go through that exercise completely. I have a lot I'd like to tell you. So let's, let's now, let's assume you've done that three times, okay? Inhale, counting 12, holding, counting 12, exhale, counting 12. Now, inhale and tense the whole body. You see, you need to relax the body too. And there are many parts of the body that will be tense even without your being aware of it. You need to inhale and equalize that flow of tension all over the body. Then, once your body is tense, then when you throw the breath out, you'll be able to relax the whole body simultaneously. So let's then begin. Um, inhale like that, tense the whole body, and exhale and relax. And when you tense, vibrate the whole body with tension. So once again, exhale and throw the breath out and relax. Now, keep the breath out. It would help you at this point to close your eyes, but don't do it yet because I want you to watch me. There is a point that you need to concentrate on, and that is right here at the point between the eyebrows. You know, it's interesting. People are wiser than they realize. Many spiritual teachings we all understand without knowing that they're spiritual teachings. One of them is that this is the seat of concentration in the body, and you know when you concentrate deeply, you tend to knit your eyebrows, don't you? It's because you automatically send your mind to this whenever you concentrate. Now, what's that mean? You think here. This is the seat of concentration. Now, what you want to do in your meditation is focus your gaze and your attention at the point between the eyebrows. This is the seat also of higher consciousness. It's the seat of superconsciousness. And the more you can bring your mind in a focus to that point, the more you will find your consciousness becoming uplifted. I had a, an experience many years ago. I suddenly found myself in a mood, and I tried to reason my way out of this mood, and I just couldn't get out of it. And I didn't like the mood, and so I decided, well, instead of sort of thinking my way into a deeper and deeper mood, I'm going to have to try something else. So I sat down and I focused my mind with all my willpower at that point between the eyebrows. You know that in a few seconds my mood had changed. This is the seat of higher consciousness. When you can bring your mind there, you can get rid of diseases as well as moods. You can get rid of the darkness in your body and in your mind. You can find that everything will go better for you if you can focus your attention there. Just try it. Now, I spoke of focusing your gaze at that point. I didn't mean like that. I didn't mean 
cross, crossing your eyes so much as you could put it this way, that if you held your thumb out at arm's length, the focus that you'd have there would be just a slight. The main thing is that your attention be here. Now, after you've done the inhalation and exhalation, inhaling, tensing the body, throwing the breath out and relaxing, then focus your attention here and try mentally, this, at this point you can close your eyes and try to feel space in your body and feel as if all that space were being focused at this point. Now, if you have any sensation, like somebody perhaps is uh, uh, walking outside, maybe you hear a car horn or a train going by or whatever it might be, imagine that that sensation is originating here, not in your ears, not in your body. Try to get everything centered here at the point between the eyebrows. And the more you do that, the more your feelings also, whenever you have any kind of feeling, offer it up. You don't want to do it with force. You have to relax there because meditation, and in fact the way the whole superconscious works, is not by forcing anything. You relax into superconsciousness just the way you relax into sleep, except that in sleep you relax into a lower consciousness. In this, if you can just catch that little dividing line between the conscious and the subconscious, that's where the superconscious lies. Even at night when you go to sleep, try for a few moments before you surrender to sleep to catch that little dividing line and you'll suddenly find in that, in that relaxation you may enter into at least a kind of semi-superconscious state. So when you concentrate at the point between the eyebrows, your first rule in meditation is to relax. Relax into awareness, don't relax into sleep. Relax your body by thinking space in your body. And you may think of space all around your body and feel that you are releasing into that space every last vestige of tension uh, and mental preoccupation. And then relax more and more upward. Meditate with a feeling of pleasure, not with a feeling of duty and hardship and uh, stern willpower, but just feel that you enjoy your reality, the deeper reality of your own being. Be like the sea. Be like a wave on the sea that merges back into the great ocean and becomes the ocean. The deeper your calmness, the more you will expand. But as the waves rise onto the beach and sink back with a hiss into the ocean again, so now be conscious of your breath. Feel that your breath is like the waves. And watch the breath. Don't control it, but just watch it impersonally and allow it to come in and out. And in fact, in the ancient teachings of yoga, which has, is really the science of meditation, they say that there is a mantra that will help you to calm your mind and it will resonate with the breath. So when the breath comes in and you're just watching it without control, as it comes in, mentally say Hong, H-O-N-G. And as the breath goes out, mentally say Saw. S-A-U. Now the meaning of this in Sanskrit basically is I am He. I am that ocean. I am that vast expanded peace and love and joy. But you don't have to think so much of the meaning because the words themselves will soothe you into that expanded state. So sit as long as you like and just watch the breath and feel that you are going more and more into the stillness of your own ocean depths, that you are one with the ocean. You are a part of it. Let the breath flow like the waves until finally there's no breath anymore and there is only your own vastness. That is meditation.